Here it is. Easy cap. Without Haley splitters. You need two things. Well, more than that, but two main things. An easy cap. This is a DC-50 easy cap, although you wouldn't be able to tell because it doesn't say it. What I just know is. Or a DC-60 Plus. If you can get a DC-60 Plus, buy it because I recommend it because it records on the Xbox 360 as well. But you need a different software to the one that I'm going to use for this video. And you also need a PS3 composite cable. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. With the red, yellow and white ends. And then that's all you need. And a PS3 and a TV. And yeah. The first thing you do is you plug it in. Like that. So you just plug it in. Simple as that. Oh, and you need the EasyCap installation disc. But if you, if you didn't come with one or you've lost it or whatever... You're gonna have to download the software off the internet like I did, but and I be I did it so, and I'm thick, as you know. Right. So what you do is you take the composite cables that you've now plugged into your easy cap. Make sure it's all plugged into the back of your PlayStation. And many of you said, "How come I can watch the TV while it's plugged into the?" Because I've got HD. This is a HD cable. That's currently running on our HD. So, and then to record your easy cap what you do is you go on display settings and plug my easy cap in so yeah make sure your easy cap is plugged in excuse my excuse my face and that's plugged into there and then what you need to do is you go on video output settings and then you go to AV multi you click on it you click the top one unless you've got an RGB TV you click on it and then it'll go blank and then you change the source on your TV to SCART as you can see there and then it should come up on your computer, which I will show you in but a moment with other details that you need. So bear me one second. Right, when you get your easy cap, you shall find the disc that comes with ULEAD Video Studio SE, DVD SE. If you haven't got the disc, you'll have to download it. And then when you click on it, you'll see the two boxes at the bottom. Make sure they're both unchecked and then click on Movie Wizard. Ignore the Video Studio Editor because most people are using Vegas for that. Then when it loads, it'll come up with Capture. So you click on Capture at the top and then you click on it and then it'll locate the uh, EasyCap driver and come up with Syntec SDK 1150 or 1160. So whichever EasyCap it'll find. Then you want to click OK and then once that's done you'll see your PlayStation screen like that which is good if you don't you'll have to question me then you click on options and then the second one down you and then you want to click on this box and click on video composite which will darken the screen then you want to move saturation far to the right on the color then you click on capture and go on advanced and then you go on to the settings at the top and set it to PAL 720 by 576 like here's all then you want to go to aspect ratio and change it to 16 by 9 and press OK and then slide the quality bar over to 100% then it will just load them settings and then you'll see the screen will brighten up slightly and then that's it all you have to do then is just click on capture video it's as easy as that to be honest I'm awfully sorry I went quite quickly there because my hypercamp appears to have sped the video up a bit so yeah I'll just recap what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your easy cap and the PlayStation composite cable it's different for the Xbox so I'm not going to run through that because I'm doing this for the PlayStation at the minute because that's what it works best on make sure the uh, composite cable is plugged into the back of the PlayStation then connect the composite cable to the correct uh, like slots on the easy cap and then once they're all connected you want to plug the easy cap into your computer or laptop device then what you want to do is load up the software that you've just seen on the this part of the video where, where you can see my computer you want to load that software and then make sure it's all ready and then what you want to do is you want to make sure it's registered this Syntec DVD 1150 thing that to be registered like to know the software's there hardware even. They want to do on your PlayStation is go to display settings and then change the output settings to SCART or AV and multi and SCART. Then it should instantly come up on the computer screen and then you can work from there really. Then once you've done that all you've got to do is follow what I did to try and get the best settings you possibly can. I know it went a bit quick but you've you know what the pause button's for so you just slow it down a bit. Um and that's sort of it really. If you've got any questions you're gonna have to Query me via my private messaging. 
and that's it really I hope this helps and if it doesn't I'm sorry I will try and make amends for you thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you all guys soon I hope